More than a thousand people packed a small town church today to say goodbye to a firefighter. The service for Captain Tony Greider in his hometown of Columbia in Adair County lasted nearly two hours. The mourners included family, friends, even people who never knew Greider. The 41 year old died Saturday, one month after suffering injuries while helping during an ice bucket challenge in Campbellsville. Following the funeral, a long processional carried Grider's body to Mount Pleasant Cemetery in Russell County for burial. This video from Sky First shows the long line of cars, fire trucks, and motorcycles accompanying Grider on his final ride. WKYT Sam Smith begins our team coverage with a look at how Grider was honored once his body arrived at his final resting place. Captain Tony Grider was laid to rest at Mount Pleasant Cemetery in Russell County. It's the same cemetery where many of his family members are also buried. Ryder received full honors this afternoon, including an escort from first responders. Bagpipes and his fellow firefighters finished off the escort, leading his body to his gravesite. Tony's precious and the whole family is. He has five sweet kids. And he's always had a smile on his face. Helen Richards says Grider deserves this burial ceremony. Grider died from injuries he suffered while assisting in an ice bucket challenge with the Campbellsville University Band. The people in his life call it tragic. His death was felt throughout the region because Grider worked for several different fire departments in the area and he touched a lot of lives. Yes, what happened was sure tragedy. I mean, to the whole community and not only our church, but a lot of people. A lot of churches, and everybody has really went out for them. And I sure I appreciate it, and I know they do. In Russell County, Sam Smith, WKYT.